everyone, I'm Adrienne Everhart, your dating and relationship coach. I do hope you take a second and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss another video or update from me. I love engaging with you all and taking your questions in the comment sections. So please do click subscribe. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about if you think there's someone else in the guy's life. If you think he might be dating someone else or there's someone else he's having feelings for and you're just really not sure. Now, I wanna make sure that this is different than cheating. Uh, cheating usually you know is something that is happening in a relationship if you're just dating a man and you're sexually exclusive that's one thing but I'm talking about he's just giving you less attention he's coming around less and less and you really just suspect there's someone else now this can also be the same case if you are married and you're in a relationship and you just need to flat out know is there someone else you know what's going on here something some need is not getting met so it can apply to dating and marriage or a committed relationship, but I'm mostly gonna focus on dating because things like marriage and committed relationships, it's a little more heavier, it's a little more intense, and I really like to handle that in one-on-one -on -one coaching. So let's just talk a little bit about if you really think there might be someone else and what you can say to this man. So the first thing I want you to do is when he does reach out to you, I want you to be warm. Even if you haven't heard from him in two or three weeks, if you're still giving this a try with this guy, I want you to give a little time to let it unfold. I'm not talking years, I'm not talking six months, but you have to decide an amount of time that you're gonna set aside to actually connect with this man. And if it doesn't happen, you gotta pass on that guy and move on to the next. then let's say it's been a couple of weeks or even 10 days five days sometimes two days makes us really scared if we haven't heard from our guy and I want you to just when he finally does reach out to you I want you to answer with something warm and soft instead of where have you been so instead of responding in a way that's going to be aggressive or hostile or snappy or a little bit mean to comment on that he's been absent for a while and you've noticed, I want you to be warm and come from a feminine energy place. So before you respond to him, I wanna make sure you lean back, drop your shoulders down, and really relax your body and get in your feminine energy so you can come from a soft place without defensiveness. <laughs> 